Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Hut video. We got the new Stanley Cup playoff event round one. We're going to be getting into the full review. Make sure to stay tuned, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm always posting all kinds of hot content here on the channel. So this is how the event is going to work. For every team that made the playoffs, there are two players. And for every win that the team gets, the card will be going up two overalls. So that is pretty good. Uh, maybe, you know, Colorado gets a sweep. And the and the cards will end up being pretty good. Obviously, it's not very, it's not, you know, it's not Sidney Crosby. It's not players like that. It's all kind of underrated players, which is obviously good. And I do like this. I'm just going over them quickly. There's quite a few cards. I'm not going to be listing over all of them. But guys like TJ Brody and Zach Hedman, they might do really good. You know, they had a pretty good regular season. Um, we got Philip Deneau. We got Joe Edmondson. We got Andrew Kopp. Um, we got Adam Larson. Pretty good players. A couple of them underrated. Um, that could be that could come up big in the playoffs. Taking a look at the cards, nothing too insane. They're all 86 overalls, um, just off the bat. Um, but all the synergies are looking pretty good. We got two in distributed, two in workers, two in shutdown, two in spark, two in passing playmaker, two in hatzer. Very, very good synergies. And obviously not the best overall. But again, if if your team does get the sweep, that's huge. So checking out the set now. So for the round one Stanley Cup player item choice pack, you get one over two. So it's going to be 10 gold collectibles. I'm not too sure about that. I, I don't know if that's worth it. It is tradable. But, I, but if you get someone that's on the verge of not even passing that first round, they may only get one win. So the card's only going up to an 88th overall. That's really not worth it at all. It's kind of just a waste. Um, that That's kind of tough. Um, if you have a lot of gold go collectibles and you do like the event, then go for it. But if you're on a budget, definitely this is a pass for me. Um, but you can always, always go buy a card in the market um, if you want to be a part of the event. My only problem with the event is I would have probably liked the cards to be in at least an 88 overall um, because, you know, at least they get upgraded um, to a, you know, 92, 94, you know, 96, depends how many wins they get. And I would think you would think that they would at least give out the free packs to at least choose an 86 over overall card because I'm not too sure if those Tango collectibles are worth it. But leave your thoughts and opinions below. I always like seeing that. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow my Instagram. Always posting all kinds of stuff in there. Link is in the description. Make sure to ring the bell to notify for every time I upload a video. And it's been both little worlds. Signing in and out. Peace.